Hello everyone, in this video we will look at three environmental problems, the land degradation, the global biodiversity loss, and marine pollution. Okay, so land degradation is the deterioration or loss of the productive capacity of the soils for, for present and future. So land degradation is caused by multiple forces, including extreme weather conditions, especially drought. It is also caused by human activities that pollute or degrade soil quality and uh, land utility. So this human activity affects food production and livelihoods. And for example, the desertification is a form of land degradation. Okay, so let's see some data. Due to current livestock and agricultural production, land degradation has accelerated considerably. Similarly, massive urbanization, large-scale deforestation, and more frequent extreme weather events, such as droughts, as I said before, have also worsened the state of the land. In addition, soil degradation can be caused by the high concentration of uh, contaminants in the surface, which damage uh, soil biodiversity and endangers our health, especially through food. In particular, livestock and agriculture often use fertilizers and pharmaceuticals that pollute the fields. In this regard, the Food and Agriculture Organization of United Nations states that soil contamination is a serious threat, especially for Europe, Eurasia, Asia and North Africa. Furthermore, the organization states that soil degradation already affects one third of the planet. And its recovery will be so slow that it will take 1,000 years to recover one centimeter of usable soil. Here, we can see an increase in the cultivation in the uh, Egyptian desert. Okay, so the causes of soil degradation are erosion, loss of organic carbon, salinization, acidification, and chemical soil contamination. In addition, human activities that contribute most to social degradation include mining, industry, military activities, waste and wastewater management, agriculture, livestock and, uh, farming, and the construction or, or, of urban and transport or, uh, infrastructure. Okay, so now let's see the global biodiversity laws. Um, biodiversity is traditionally defined as the variety of life on Earth and all its forms. It comprises the number of species, their genetic variation, and the interaction of these life forms within complex ecosystems. Okay, so biodiversity is vital to humans, uh, providing us with food, water, medicine, a stable climate, and supporting economic growth, among other things. As a result, more than half of the world's gross domestic product depends on nature. But in recent years, plant and animal species have been disappearing at an alarming rate. There are even some researchers that say that we are in the midst of the sixth extinction event in the planet history. We have to bear in mind that in previous extinctions, between 60% and 95% of all species were lost, and the ecosystem take millions of years to recover. The main causes of biodiversity loss are changes in land use, such as deforestation, food production, massive urbanization, hunting or overfishing, climate change and pollution, and finally, invasive toxic species. But the main cause of biodiversity loss is human use of the land especially for food, for food production. It is estimated that human activity has already altered more than 70% of the entire land area. For many plant and animal species, this, this means loss of habitat and possible extinction. In other words, climate change has transformed marine, terrestrial and freshwater ecosystems around the world. Okay, so climate change has led to the loss of many local species. And this is because high temperatures have caused many animals and plants to flee to higher elevation, such as uh, the poles, which has had a major impact on ecosystems. We must bear in mind that with every degree increase in temperatures, uh, the risk of a species extinction increases. And here we can see in these pictures, according to the United Nations, that, that with an increase of 1.5 degrees, 4% of mammals will lose half of their habitats. 
With an increase of two degrees, eight percent of mammals will lose half of their habitats. And finally, with an increase of three degrees, 41% of mammals will lose half their habitats. Another example is what happened with coral reefs, which almost half of the coral reefs have been reclaimed in recent years. And with an increase of 1.5 degree, 70 to 90% of coral reef will vanish. And with an increase of two degrees, the 99% of coral reefs will vanish. So not only does the environment suffer from biodiversity loss, but also affects humans by destroying essential elements for our survival, such as soil and water quality. Finally, if our biodiversity decreases, there will be an increase in CO2 emissions, as forests or oceans will not be able to, be able to absorb the CO2 that contributes to this environmental crisis. And finally, we are going to talk about the marine pollution, which is the direct or indirect introduction into the marine environment of substances or energy as a result of human activity, including underwater noise sources, which cause or are likely to cause harmful effects. Okay, so the oceans make up 70% uh, of the Earth's surface and 97% of the planet's total water. Also are home to thousands of species of animals, plants, bacteria and other microorganisms. And marine pollution is 80% caused by human activities. And the 80% of international trade is conducted by sea. Furthermore, 1 million plastic bottles are bought every minute worldwide and 5 trillion single-use plastic bags are used every year. Um, and according to the European Commission, more than 150 million tons of plastic have already accumulated in the oceans, adding up to 4.6 to 12.7 million tons, tons each year. Also, oil spills are part of this pollution, but it comes not only from ships, but also from the factories that we have in the cities and poor contaminant and disposal practices. Okay, so the effects of pollution are devastating, degrading habitats and causing a major loss of, value, of biodiversity, which translates into a direct threat to marine animals and plants, and some of which are endangered. And we must remember that the rubbish or plastic that we dump in the oceans do, do not disappear, but create island made up of plastic. The best known is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, estimated to be around 1.6 million square kilometers and 80,000 tons of plastic. Furthermore, the chemical substances that we dump in the oceans cause the lethal process of eutrophication, which means that due to these substances, these toxic substances, there is an excess of nutrients that cause plants and algae to flourish, reducing the quality of the water and consuming the oxygen dissolved in the water, affecting the entire mar marine ecosystem. So thank you very much for watching the video and we invite you to watch the next ones.